Hi everybody, it's Barbie Rocks and I'm glad you tuned in today and I've got another awesome video because I'm doing more of a doll comparison uh, vintage Barbie dolls compared to dolls from the 1970s. So the first thing I'm going to compare is I look at their eyes and if I look at the eyes I can see that the 1970 dolls had big wide blue eyes and the dolls from the 1960s were more elegant, elegant and dainty. And if we look at the nose, the nose was done differently too. The 1970 dolls had a rounded nose. Um, the 1960 dolls had a pointed nose. Um, if we look at the structure of the cheeks, more of a slender face in the 1960 dolls as compared to the wide face from the 1970s. And one difference about these dolls is 1970 clothing was very different too. A lot of the 1970 clothing were sort of bright um, polyester type and neon pink and here we got dolls from the 1960s they were classy and elegant. So one thing about this doll um, I'm going to show you how to identify a ponytail doll. Ponytail Barbie. The iconic dolls from the 1960 designed by Ruth Handler and who was a doll designer um, let's look at the markings on the buttocks. Now if we take the dress off, which I would carefully do, and I'm going to show you the buttocks. And the buttocks on a ponytail Barbie, if we can look at this doll, she seems to have two discoloration. She's tanned here and she's white here, meaning that um, her body is changing, so she becomes a transitional three and four. But if we look at her body, there's a TM marking on the back of her buttocks. So I can tell you that the dolls, the ponytail Barbie dolls, the um, markings um, on ponytail Barbie, number one, two, three, and four, will have the TM markings. The bodies were more heavier. They were not hollow dolls. So if we were to tap the body, you wouldn't have a hollow feel in it. You can feel how solid she is. So that identifies these dolls in the category of one to four. The number five Barbie dolls were the first dolls introduced that did have the hollow body. And um, so this is a very solid heavy doll and that's what you want to look for when you're trying to find a reputable vintage doll. Um, these, uh, the number one, twos, and threes are very highly sought after, very rare, hard to come by, very expensive. Uh, a doll, um, a number three doll, for example, example, this is a three, but she's a transitional three and four, because as we can see, she's not all pure white, as most dolls have faded. She's got two different colors. But, um, very rare to get if you can get a number three, two, or one. Uh, the Barbie dolls, they got a softer look in the 1960s. Uh, they had the arch, the arch eyebrows sort of s gently curved um, in a number three and four doll. She has the gorgeous red lips and a beautiful blush and she's got the turquoise eyeliner and the black eyelids. So this is, I would consider it a number four, three, four doll. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the bubble cut dolls um, and a little bit about their outfits that I have in this collection. So I'm going to put her dress back on. She's got the YKK zipper which is really well known for the classic doll dresses in the 1960s. So I'm going to put her over here and we are going to look at the bubble cut dolls. Now the bubble cut dolls were beautiful dolls. They were produced in 1961 up until 1966. And this one here is wearing the uh, resort set. A doll, uh, the resort set is a beautiful outfit because you can sort of flip her up and she's got the um, iconic striped knit shirt with the beautiful, it usually comes in white but I've got the red shorts on. She's sort of got the side part and it's, again you can see she's got the pointed nose. Uh, beautiful pointed chin and beautiful lips. She's wearing resort and again these dolls that were made back then do not bend. Their legs don't bend but their legs were designed in such a way that um, you can put beautiful shoes like um, you can put a pair of pumps on the dolls as well as you can put a mule. You can actually slip on 
some yellow shoes on the doll. So that's what I love about these dolls, because you can put any kind of footwork, and I've got a lot of shoes here that I can show you that I can actually put on the dolls, but what's special about the 1960 dolls is their feet. Their, their feet was very designed differently from dolls from like the 19, here's a 1970 doll. If we can look at the feet, you can see there's a difference. Um, if we compare the feet, the dolls from um, the 1960s were more stronger plastic, stiffer plastic, didn't have the ability to bend at the knees yet, but had a higher arch on the, the soles of their feet. So that's sort of a difference. And if we compare the dolls, the dolls from the 1970s always had the bright, bright hand-painted um, eyes. And whereas the 1960 dolls had the sort of slanted eyelids that were shaped and angular and a very dainty pointed nose and elegant lips and elegant chin. So my opinion is I think the dolls from the 1960s were classier and elegant as compared to the dolls from the 1970s. See if I just pull up some random 1970 dolls, you can actually see the beautiful eyes the blue eyes that I was talking about, bright, brightly painted with beautiful lips, deep in color, but the eyes were very bright. So that tells you a little bit about the bubble cuts. I've got her in this set, and this one here is wearing an open road outfit, and again she's got the side part, and if we look at the eyelids, there you again you can see the turquoise eyelids. She's wearing a beautiful open road. Now I'm going to pull up this doll here, which is a 1975 Malibu Christie doll. Um, she's wearing a Tropicana outfit, and I hope you can see that if I twirl her around. And she's got the long stringing hair. Her hair is nice and long, very stringy, and um, she has the ability to bend at the knees, and the ability to flex. So she's more of the mod era dolls, but that's Malibu Christie. Here I've got a TNT doll, and this is from 1967 to 1969 in the mod era. Again, she's on a twist and turn body, if I can just show you. She can twist and turn, and she's got the ability to bend her and flex her legs. There you go. And um, she's got the beautiful hair. It's nice and long. I'm just going to comb it so she looks presentable. And she's wearing a vintage outfit. Um, I don't know the exact name, but it's a beautiful outfit. With the little bow in the back. Okay, the next doll I'm going to show you is this doll here. Again, she's another TNT doll. And, um, she was again produced in six, 1967 to the 1966 and 60, 69 era and she's wearing a outfit called the Intrigue, Intrigue Outfit. She's got the platinum blonde hair and she's got beautiful eyes with beautiful lips. Um, this outfit is just to die for it because it's so classy and beautifully lined in pink. She has the ability to bend at her knees and again she's got the pointed face. Now again if we pull up one of the dolls from the 1970s you can see the difference. A 1970 doll, she has more of a slender face and she has a wider face and just the way that they're structured is very different too. Um, this doll has an ability to move her arm and flex it 360 and rotate it as you can see. This doll doesn't have that ability, it's just a straightforward up and down motion. And this doll here, she's on a twist and turn body as you can see. And this doll here in 1970, she's also on a twist and turn body. Okay. So I'm going to pull another vintage doll for you, and one is called a Fashion Queen doll. Now the Fashion Queen dolls were identified with the ability to be able to um, interchange the wigs. Um, 
they you could put like different weights on these dolls which made the fashion queen very very interesting and fun I'm going to show you a little bit of the wigs that you can put on her so here I've got a wig and I can slip that wig and it changes her look so I kind of like that I like the fact that you can interchange her wigs and and put another wig wig on her if, if that's what you want let's take that wig off and I'm going to try another wig here's another wig so every wig you put on the doll gives her sort of a different look um, let's try another wig. Let's try sort of a round hair and see what she looks like with sort of like a bubble cut type hair style. And if you didn't want that, maybe she might look good in this wig. <laughs> that one looks silly. Um, oh, I got another one that's more of like sort of like a Jean Harlow wig. And so she has the ability to wear all sorts of really hilarious wigs. How's that one? Well, that one looks quite odd. But anyways, she has the ability to put wigs on, which makes her a really interesting and fun doll to play with, if you can get your hands on wigs. Um, she is um, wearing a winter wonder, winter outfit from the 1960s, and it comes with this little portable sort of ski type bag and that's a doll from the 1960s I'm going to show you another doll from the 1960s and she's called the Twiggy doll Twiggy was um, named after a well modeled after the model Twiggy and um, she's very highly collectible um, she has um, eyelashes which you can't see but there's a lot of eyelashes there uh, she comes on a small petite body, unlike the big do doll bodies. Um, she has the ability to bend her knees and come back. But you know, her body is a bit different. Um, I'm not sure if I have the ability to show you, if I can just unfasten her button. Her body is a lot more slender and more um, tinier than your normal bodies. I can show you here. So she's not as big as the bubble cut dolls. I'm going to show you another doll from the 1960s. And this is called your Mitch doll. Uh, Mitch is wearing a beautiful outfit from the 1960s. Some jeans and a knitted tank top. She's got the freckles. And she's got the little bit, a bit of a button nose. And she's got a vintage outfit on as well. The other doll I'm going to show you is called a TNT brunette doll. Now she's wearing an outfit called Dinner at 8, number 946. Um, it's entirely pink with um, sort of like a vest with sparkles on it. And... Uh, she has um, beautiful hair and she's got eyelashes. I'm trying to show you in camera that she's got the embedded eyelashes. And that's a TNT doll. Now I'm going to grab some other dolls here. I've got two bubble cut dolls here. And again, they're wearing a beautiful uh, wedding. This is called the Wedding Date 1960s Outfit, and she's on an American Girl doll. And this bubble cut doll is wearing Here Comes the Bride outfit. Uh, these are 1960s um, dresses. I'm going to put the huge long veil onto the doll's hair so you get an idea of what she looks and how beautiful she is with that veil. But this dress, I really love this dress. It's one of my favorites, hard to part with because it has a lot of beautiful detailed lace on her dress. As you can see, it's got the satin underlay and then it's got the um, beautiful detailed uh, lace overlay, netting overlay on the satin. And um, you can see how much flare it has if I just flare her entire dress up and show you. So this is, an, this is an American Girl doll. She's a game from the 1960s with the vintage retro look. Um, she's got the beautiful veil. 
and I'm just gonna sit her over here she's in wedding date and this one here like I said is in called here comes the bride another very very well detailed wedding dress it has the YKK zippers which you can pull up and pull down very nicely done her face is just gorgeous again I'm just going to show you the look of a bubble cut doll and let's grab another doll from the 1960s I've got some Julia dolls and these are the black um, African-American dolls um, they ha they're on a twist and turn body I'm going to show you by twist and turn her this one here is in Caribbean Cruise and this one here is in Solo in the Spotlight the dresses are very beautiful and the dolls are dark in color and they have the embedded eyelashes if I can show you on camera I don't know how close you can get but they've got the embedded eyelashes she's in a beautiful uh, outfit called Caribbean Cruise it has a lot of lace at the bottom and it's sort of like it's got a beautiful side cut onto the, the jumpsuit and it can fasten with two fasteners right at the top and the bottom and what's really nice about this outfit is the lace on the bottom of the dress the lace is what is really nice here we've got Solo in the spotlight and she's got like this kind of um, lowered body lace she comes with the handkerchief and a beautiful pink scarf and you can see the details of her embedded eyelashes as well but her hair is oxidized to this beautiful red I love it I've got another 1960 doll in again golden elegance um, and it's a it's another one with the black and white label tags I can show you and she's really well done another bubble cut in my collection I'm just gonna sit her over here and the other dolls I have is the ballerina doll and she's got the crown and she's got the Steffi face now when I refer to Steffi face these two dolls have the Steffi face because the lips tend to protrude from the face so we call that more of a Steffi look and again these are your classic 1960 dolls because of the slender chin the beautiful nose and she's got the embedded eyelashes which they don't do that in dolls nowadays. You don't get these eyelashes. She, this this Marlo Flip doll is a TNT doll. She's wearing a 1990s um, outfit, and um, it's a three-piece ensemble with the big bow. I just love this beautiful bow in the front, and it's a vest that comes off. Um, here's the detail of the shirt and a beautiful polka dot skirt, and um, she's on a twist and turn body and she's actually referred to as a Marlo Flip doll now in this collection here I'm going to show you this doll and she's the uh, she's a ballerina and I love this doll because she's so cute her body is so fragile and white sort of well it's more like a, a lighter weight doll um, but her knees do bend and um, she's able to do a lot of twirling and um, you can see her face it rotates back and forth and just really well done I just love these dolls and um, I brought this doll here because I wanted to do a comparison of a ponytail doll uh, this is a reproduction doll compared to one of the dolls here which is not a reproduction as you can see there's a huge difference in um, an authentic 1960s and the reproduction doll. The reproduction doll has her earrings. Um, she's got a bit of a green ear, but she's got a beautiful ponytail. But it, it's not the same as the original. And if we look at the turquoise eyes, she's got a lot longer length in terms of the eyes compared to the vintage dolls. And again, the lips are very different, and the body's different. This one's very solid. This one is solid, but it's got a hollow body. Whereas this is a solid, heavy body. So there's your comparison on the ponytail Barbies. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you all soon. Thank you all for tuning in. 
and I've got a lot more videos coming because I'm going to do a doll review on the 1970s doll. I'm going to do a review on this era because there are so many dolls in this era from Golden Dream to your Crystal Barbie and to um, your Kissing Barbie. So 